If you've ever found yourself in a situation where you explode out at somebody in a manner that you don't like about yourself and then you find yourself trying to make it up to somebody who has in some way hurt you, you are more likely suffering or on the receiving end of reactive abuse. We are all more than capable of being pushed past our limits. We are more than capable of having a side within us that we don't like. There are those who take responsibility and try to avoid that side because we don't like it about ourselves and we don't want to treat other people in that manner. And then there are those that will happily bring the worst out in themselves but just blame everybody else. If it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for them, look what you've made me do, which tends to be the narcissistic types. Narcissistic people tend to like the empathy to care. The only thing they might feel is that, that sort of moment of shame of what other people might think of them, which is why they play the victim and scapegoat somebody else to take the fall for their behaviour. When it comes to reactive abuse, it's a term to describe the manipulation tactic often used by narcissistic individuals to subtly provoke a reaction or an outburst from you only to then shift the blame onto you and accuse you of being the unstable and the irrational one. When it comes to a narcissistic individual, if they've had a bad day, you can see them and you could have had a great day. You could have passed the test. You could have received a promotion. And this will cut a narcissist deep. So you could have had a really good, really positive day, really good experience. You could have achieved something. You can be in one of your best moods because we are all capable of having different moods. We are all capable of having one of those days. Yet when you're in a fantastic mood and then you bump into the narcissist or the narcissist comes home, they're not quite in the right frame of mind. You're all sort of giddy and happy and they just seem... So then you pull back in what you've done or what you're happy about and start to ask them, hey, what's wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong with me. What makes you think something's wrong with me? Trying to make out something's wrong with me. And you're like, no, I wasn't meaning anything by it. You just don't seem... And the more you seem to try and care about them, the more offended they will get with you because the spotlight isn't on them, because you're happy and they are not the reason behind your happiness. So this irritates them. And they will go all out to wind you up. Any little thing that they know that gets under your skin they are going to do it and they are going to do it over and over and over again and we can all have those little habits that we all just have and we can all recognize habits within others that get under our skin because it doesn't align with who we are as a person and it's it is trivial things however there's that build up of those trivial things so someone might get out of a shower and just drop the towel on the floor. Someone might get out and want them to be put in the wash basket. Someone might get out and want them to be hung back up. Someone might get out and want it putting in the washing machine. We are all different individuals. And when one person does it one way and another person does it another way, you can usually work together and just recognise the differences in between the people. With a narcissistic individual, when they know that a certain activity will wind you up and you're in a good mood, they're going to go all out to use this against you, to do the exact things that they know irritates you. And they're going to do it over and over and over again until you're the one that's put in the bad mood and then they'll stand back and act all calm and be like oh what's wrong with you have you had a bad day and they will be sarcastic and they will be patronizing with it 
And your genuine concern in the beginning, they class as patronising and sarcastic even when it wasn't. Narcissists are highly skilled at playing so many different mind games and manipulating situations to their advantage. They might constantly go all out to belittle you, to criticise you, to gaslight you. They slowly chip away at who you are as a person. The things they once admired about you, they go all out to destroy within you. They slowly chip away at your self-esteem and your confidence and your emotional well-being. He slowly chips away your sleep so you're no longer able to sort of grab a hold of your emotions and rein yourself back in. This continuous cycle of emotional abuse often leaves you feeling overwhelmed, full of anxiety, confused, stressed, depressed, on edge. When a narcissist comes after you, they're not going to stop until they can elicit the reaction that they are so desperately craving from you or they can gain the attention they are craving elsewhere. So when you finally reach breaking point and when you finally react emotionally at them, when you shout at them, when you throw something, when you break down in tears, the narcissist will calmly step back and feign innocence. I like it's nothing to do with them. Or what's wrong with you? Or you can be going to a special occasion that just simply isn't about the narcissistic individual. They will go, they're like a toddler that's no clue on time, that just goes as slow as possible and takes forever and doesn't listen when you say, come on, we need to go. They're just not interested. They're a toddler. That's your responsibility, not theirs. They become that toddler in a grown adult's body. They drag their feet because they don't want to be celebrating someone else's success. It's not about them. They're going to go all out to wind you up. Until just like that toddler, you can ask a toddler six, seven, eight, nine times to do something. And then you can find yourself stepping out of character and doing what you never thought you would do and threatening them or raising your voice and shouting at them. And then all of a sudden they listen to you and ask you why you're shouting. And you're like, hmm, it's a toddler. You have the patience to sort of explain and work through these things. We all make mistakes. Yet with an adult, the second you then rage out at them and shout at them, oh, what's wrong with you? See, this is why I never want to go anywhere with you. Look at the state of you. How dare you speak to me like this? You're treating me like a child. Just stop acting like a child then. But they don't. They just simply twist the blame onto you. They will twist the situation to make it appear as though you're the one that's overreacting. You're the one that's being unreasonable. You're the one that's being too demanding. By redirecting the focus away from the narcissist's behaviour and onto your reaction, the narcissist effectively gaslights you into believing that you're the problem. And because you're behaving in a manner that you don't like about yourself, you're the one that's constantly questioning yourself and doubting yourself. Just like if you have a young child and before children, you can be like, I would never shout at my children. I would always get down on their level and speak to them. And this works very well until you wake up in one of those moods. And it's one of those days and you're running late, and your child's just got themselves undressed and tearing around happily, not bothered at all about what needs to be done or the fact that they need to get to school. We're all capable of getting to that point, and a narcissist will purposefully push you to that point and then play the victim and blame you. Reactive abuse is a harmful and toxic pattern of behaviour that has devastating effects on your mental health and overall well-being. When we parent our children in a manner that we don't like, we feel remorseful. Narcissists don't feel remorseful. They push you into feeling remorseful so that you live life on their terms. 
it's crucial if you find yourself in this kind of relationship to recognize their manipulative tactics and seek the help to break free from the cycle of emotional abuse. None of us are perfect. However, when a narcissist is imperfect and you call them out on this, they will turn around to you and go, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were perfect. So again, you're the one that's questioning yourself. A narcissist wants to convince you that your emotional reactions to their actions are the problem to distract you from the fact that their actions are causing those emotional reactions within you. And they do not want to talk about what they did to you. They only want to talk about how you reacted to them. It's all about them looking innocent and making you look like the problem. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsor, the link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. The links for those will be in the description also if you'd like to go and check those out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an, an amazing day. Bye.